So, good afternoon. I'd like to present to you uh, ideas to <laughs> yeah, people should uh, really okay. Can I have your attention, please? Okay. So basically what we want to present here is uh, some uh, discussion we had among inside the, uh, the Document Foundation uh, in how to modernize and to bring to 2017 the LibreOffice help. Um, what we have in the user uh, knowledge ecosystem is that we have the help system that is bundled in, in LibreOffice. We have user guides and books that are written and published by the community. We have a very uh, extensive wiki for a lot of uh, information gathering. We have a, uh, an ask bot, it's a question and answer website for the end user. Uh, and we also use mailing list. And also the user is able to look into Google for information, sometimes browse some, some uh, videos in YouTube, uh, there is uh, also Apache Open Office forums and wikis, and also independent forums like Reddit and so on. Okay, so this is the universe of information that you can get for the uh, LibreOffice technology. So what we have at the moment is the following. Uh, the LibreOffice help is designed into XML, and it was designed about uh, circa uh, 2005 and at that time uh, we had uh, issues with browsers the browsers browsers uh, uh, war was full uh, in, in full uh, no compatibility no one no uh, browser manufacturer was uh, comfortable in adopting standards so at that time, Sun Microsystem adopted an internal only solution, which is a specific XML to hold the contents and the navigation of the help system. Uh, the internal browser is writer web. That was easy because you just have one tool and you don't need to uh, uh, test with several other browsers, of, uh, uh, other browsers. So, uh, then they develop uh, a C++ wrapper to create an index and to connect the dialogues to the, to the help pages, okay? The issue is that now, when you look at 2017, we have a complex way to edit and update, how to test and visualize the XML that is written for LibreOffice. Uh, there is no rich text uh, editor available. So what uh, what we have is a help authority authority authoring uh, extension that you connect in your writer document and then you start writing your text your help page. The problem is you need quite a lot of skills in XML and specificity of the schema to understand what the help content is. So for end users and for people that want to collaborate, there is a quite steep entry barrier to start writing uh, help files. It's also, we consider it's an obsolete technology, and uh, for example, we cannot insert in the help content, we cannot insert multimedia. We can insert images, but not videos. Uh, so this is a very old way to uh, assist the user. Looks old and cumbersome to read because it's fully textual. Uh, it's terse in terms of information. No animation, no videos. So the idea is to move forward, okay, and to get a better LibreOffice help, okay. So some requirements that we have uh, in this challenge is, first of all, preserve the legacy content. We are not going to write again everything. So we have to use what we have and transform it into something better. Uh, 
We want to lower the barrier for the community participation. So make it easy for the newcomer to start contributing to the help content. Uh, it's much needed to give volunteers an objective to contribute because some of the community is eager to contribute but they are not skilled for development and they want to add to, to be part of the, of the team and by writing help pages, by, by giving to, the to everybody their knowledge, it's a good way for that. We want an easy to update, an easy to track software development. We want a dynamic, vivid and pleasant way to, to read and watch. Use modern technology for animations, videos, support the current process of translations because in um, LibreOffice we have uh, at least 30 to 50 active language out of more than 100. Uh, an easy way to find information in online websites and to work online and offline because in some in some locations, you don't have access to an internet, okay? So basically, the idea is to start phasing out the XHP uh, technology, and perhaps, this is just a suggestion, start phasing in HTML5, which contains a lot of uh, improvements uh, from HTML, and at that time, 10 years after the HHP, XHP uh, design, HTML5 seems to be to cover most of the requirements, okay? And also to assist um, the offline uh, help is to develop a small JavaScript uh, page server, okay? You load a page that has JavaScript and the JavaScript will uh, help you in the navigation, okay? so. Why phasing out this uh, XML? Well, the XML and X and the transformation has issues. Uh, it's not so standardized as we see for uh, common uh, HTML5. I spent a lot of time um, making, uh, discovering that the transformation works in one browser, doesn't work in the other. Okay, so, so there is difference, and we, we would like to avoid to have to be very specific to a, to a given browser, okay? And also, uh, it's not XSLT, it's not a technology that is so easy to get in the first glimpse, okay? So you need to study on that, understand what the transformation are doing, okay? Uh, so, it's uh, a steep ramping for neophytes, and the community contributions and updates on new contents. Uh, XSLT is known by very few. It's, it was important maybe 10 years ago, but today I don't think uh, we are using that much this technology, okay? So what I see in the W3C um, website is that this is, seems to be a technology that is slowly phasing out, okay? Uh, so we have this uh, browser difference that in, in, in the implementation of this uh, pair of uh, technologies and uh, I think that it's becoming obsolete to uh, replace it by a richer HTML. Well, okay, so this uh, small JavaScript micro server is, will use, be used to first display the correct help page required by LibreOffice application so that when you click in the help button in your dialog, you need to go to the right help page. Uh, it uses most of the resources such as navigation, history, bookmarking, ca caching included in any major browser. Okay? Handle the indexing and searching text amongst pages so that we can find and, and look for a specific string or a specific, specific keyword and gets a list of pages. And perhaps supports X, the old XML and the new HTML simultaneously, okay? Well, 
this is basically the idea that we have in terms of evolving the hub contents and the, the hub technology. Uh, I have been spending a lot of time looking at what we have. <coughs> there is a good, uh, uh, the results so far tested were quite encouraging and uh, perhaps we, we have a good way to not uh, open the help contents to a broader audience of contributors. So that's my message for, for you about the help on LibreOffice. I can take questions. <laughs> Quite fast. <laughs> No questions? Yeah. Yes? Uh, do you have a timeline for, for this implementation? No timeline exactly. We are working on the availability of time of any of the contributors so far. <coughs> the foundation is analyzing a possibility of opening a tender to quickly have it implemented. The complexity is, is low in that case, but it's an extensive work. Some, some issues has to be considered, especially uh, to preserve and support the translations of the contents. Okay. Nothing more? Okay, thank you.